très sauvage. Just chew on it. You don't have to actually chew. I couldn't just suck on it, don't you? He just sucks on it, I chew on it. I think with licorice. To make bread, liqueur, like that. Yeah, like that. A bit refreshing. Define refreshing. So it's like something that refreshes? Man. I like the activity. Yeah, the activity is good. Is not really. Lights dim the lights to half. Doors opening. No! I don't get caught, you can't jump each. It's an auditorium. Okay. Uh, in a boys' school, it's uh, an old established boys' school that also has a history of amateur theatrical productions. So they redeveloped their school assembly hall into a purpose built theatre. Uh, it seats around 420, maybe something like that. But it still has a, a school hall feel to it. So uh, what it offers the theatre festival is a lot of space, which we adapt. It's one of the few venues in Dublin where we can adapt the theatre to, f to make the space that we need for productions of, of the, the size and scale of mm -hmm. Worcester Group's Hamlet. You can just come down a bit. I found one with all the all here and here. Oh, okay. so what about this neighbourhood? This is what we refer to as the north side of the city. Uh -huh. uh, there's a prejudice outside, the, the, but the north side is, is a less affluent than the south side of the city, so it's a more working class, but it's mm -hmm. also an older part of the city in terms of the architecture. Uh, if you look around the area, you'll see an awful lot of what are commonly referred to as Georgian tenements, but they're actually Regency period, the, the architectural style, but it's quite a distinctive and classic uh, style. When it's Dublin was a new city and developed in the late 1700s, this was, was, was one of the most important areas with many uh, big houses with important people 